This is me just about to make a call to Michael Matheson, the new Justice Secretary for Scotland uh, and I'm taping it just to verify that I've actually made an attempt to communicate with the guy. Uh, he's replaced Kenny McCaskill in the fortnight after the referendum and in the fortnight after me reporting to Nicola Sturgeon and Alex Salmon the Trident scandal it's got to come out or they are pinned to the wall uh, it also covers the issue of corporatisation of British law and Scottish law in particular the cover for the massive crimes of Stephen House and the jokes against the dead that Stephen House has perpetrated since he got his massive pay rise and took over the United Force. Uh, so I'm just going to plead to this guy who's the MP for Falkirk West. Falkirk is at the epicentre of all of the false news on left-wing and in inverted commas union members on the take, on Eric Joyce being a violent criminal in the House of Commons bar just because he shares the name Joyce with Joyce the last man to be convicted for treason in Britain. The whole of the Parliament buildings, both sides of the border, are filled by traitors now uh, and the creation of Arnott Manderson and the corporate rules that apply to that are the subject, subject of an ongoing Freedom of Information request by yours truly to find out who pays the, the lawyers, the solicitors and the judges who are appointed by the same corporate entity in the city of Edinburgh hosted in an ancient well-built building in Parliament Square at the top of the Royal Mile. In the papers this week they now have a fuss about the secret society that runs this and the exclusion of women from all of its transactions and all of its dirty deals okay so Michael Matheson may be an innocent party but there's only one way to find out if I'm found dead in a ditch this is the rather obese carca carcass that you need to identify uh, and the same videos that I've made on the massive international religious fraud and the illegitimacy of the crown are tied into these cases the Crown runs the law courts in Scotland uh, and it's all coming out. The Trident scandal is a scandal. None of the politicians either side of the border and none of the media people have acknowledged it. Even the investigative journalists chatter on about their interactions with UKIP who are hopelessly neutered to be diversionary tools in British politics. Okay, so I'm giving this guy the chance to do the decent thing for all the Scottish citizens and then we go public with the declarations about what they're trying to do to Scottish citizens and I'm doing that in league with my followers in the central belt in Scotland. Hello, is that Michael Matheson's office? So, so I can barely hear you as you... No, I, t I tried to get... I didn't realise that Kenny McCaskill had resigned or packed up or been replaced until yesterday, but when I got his PA she said that that Michael was the appropriate person to contact for the issues I wanted to discuss. Yeah, I'm not a constituent, so I think that would be the appropriate one. Oh, I'd much, I'd, it's very, very urgent. Can I do it by email? Yeah. Cabinet Secretary for Justice. 
Yeah. Scotland.g for Gavin, S for Scotland, I for International. Yeah. And is it possible for a member of the lay public? Because what I want to talk about is the cover up of the Trident weapons scandal. And I've reported that already to Nicola Sturgeon and to Alex Salmond, which is probably why he resigned. Uh, and I also want to talk about the scandal that is the creation of Arnott Manderson to cover up the crimes and the corporate pay structures, which is the subject of a freedom of information request that is being processed at the moment, and the appointment of a chap called Sheriff Harley to take on cases in Jedburgh Sheriff Court. As soon as my truths were revealed, that guy was taken off the case and nobody's prepared to declare for me how the corporation that is Arnott Manderson gets its defence or litigation attorneys and the sheriffs that it points to cases remunerated in Scottish law. It's a scandal. They have done that in the last month and they have completely ignored all of my reports and the director numbers on the Trident nuclear weapons scandal that could have made Scotland independent. That went to Nicola Sturgeon and it went to Alex Salmond and this dialogue will be posted online this afternoon. So it is really urgent that you respond to my letter otherwise the treason in the Holyrood buildings is coming spilling out onto the pavements of Scotland. Do you get the picture? And can I cite your name on that letter? You're not allowed to cite your name as his assistant. Okay, <laughs> that's very prudent of you. It's a similar tactic to what Nicola and Alec use. But thank you for the information, it's very kind. Bye bye. And by the way, I'm Professor George Lees, and I think if you mention your, your, my name, they will begin to relate to the magnitude of what they're covering up. Bye-bye.